company is Blue. They run at 30 to share, which isn't bad for a six train, right? Um, that's only enough to put me forward once. I'd have to be at like 43 and a half or something like that uh, to get the double boost. So we're not seeing a race towards the end game up here. Uh, the high valued company in this case is not making the big runs, uh, but it's making pretty decent runs. I mean, 38 is pretty nice in an XX context, and with a small bank, you can see this is going to run out pretty fast. Uh, what did I do? I actually upgraded this and opened it up to people. I didn't have to do that. I could have taken the dickier move. Um, had I done so, I would have wanted to make this the blank, and the reason I'm doing it is why. <laughs> uh, only one person can go in there, I think. I think this is Black who's, yeah, Black is kind of getting the gain out of this uh, because the other people who are connected, well, Brown maybe. Nope, Brown doesn't, Brown's already in, that's why. Um, nobody else has a miners available. So I'm basically opening things up for Black which is weird, I don't have any shares of it, but it is going to increase my value of this. The other thing is I want to make this connection possible if I can, so I can skip this. Why is it a big deal to, I'll, um, to take this six prong as opposed to the five prong um, two city? That was the big decision maker here, was that this actually has a higher growth potential than this, I think. <laughs> I'm not sure, because what I can be looking at is a one, two, three, four, five, six to here. Um, I don't honestly know if that's going to matter. Uh, I may have let black in for no good reason. But that's what we're going with. And I realized when I saw that I have a share in here and people and he's making money in his company, somebody screwed up because somebody blew, bought a blue stock, uh, probably him since nobody else has one, and they could have bought it from the company, uh, stealing some of the capacity of that company uh, to produce revenue. And again, most of the games that allow companies to hold stock and continue to get dividends off of it at this point in the game um, allow you to buy it back. And the games that don't <laughs> uh, don't have a huge disincentive that prevents people from in the way this game does, it seems to prevent people from buying up the shares. So it's an odd situation um, from holding, you know, the additional shares. And that disincentive, some of that has to do with the turn order. Uh, there's no question of that. The fact that you can't control how likely you are uh, to be in a safe position just means screw it, I don't want to have to constantly watch with an eagle's eye to see if I, if my 20% share is dangerous. There might be players who can do that um, more effectively, just keeping an eye on how much money everybody has and making their decision at that point. I find it a lot easier though uh, with the fixed seating position and I feel like that's a disincentive to holding the percentages as well as some other aspects of this game, um, which is kind of an interesting factor. All right, onward game generates revenues that go well beyond the 64. Last time I played I hit 64. This time uh, I'm putting this under as a plus 50. That's at 82. <laughs> uh, the 3D running dunk 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 and then the 6 train running from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, huge, huge run. I'm going to recalculate it and make sure, but yeah, uh, we've got runs that go well above the amount that that chart handles. Uh, I would suggest expanding that chart to tell you the truth. <laughs> A little torn on this. Um, you know, that's enough money to basically buy a big train. Uh, how much would Brown gain from a monster? Just I couldn't buy it right away, but I could buy... So the T8 for green. Green is running a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That could up to a 5, 6, I guess. 
Green doesn't look like they have a lot of room for another big train. However, I'm running the 3D, one, two, three. Uh, I wouldn't be able to get another, another big hit in there either. So yeah, so I'm not seeing a lot of potential um, for this to get too rich, although I could run instead of starting here through this, which would mean I could run one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I actually think I'm gonna instead of paying that 820 out, I am going to swallow it. And uh because I don't think Brown has a good use for an 8 train, but I think I can use the 8 and the 3D uh, over on green. And I'll undo the money that that went into people's hands. <laughs> Too big a bonus uh, for me to set up, um, being able to run two big trains off there. I'll be able to run that well above that 82 level, I'm assuming, <laughs> and get the first permanent uh get the first of the 10 trains probably before pink does and even if i don't it doesn't hurt me that much i got the cash on hand for it um a swallow like that seems very appealing now where could i put my t part of the problem is i'd love to run through here i'm not sure i'm going to be able to uh, i don't know if this is going to be an edible space Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how good this is going to be. I can't get in there permanently. Uh, what was I doing? I was coming from here. So it's got to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not too bad. Yeah, I think I've got room for it. Uh, and I don't become the person who has to upgrade this, although it is appealing to me because I got the double train. Uh, another side of it is I might be able, oh, that that's the eight train, the four train, the four train becomes interesting. So instead of running one, wow, I, I get different runs here. One, two, instead of going this way, three, four, would be a very rich run. So yeah, that'll be my 4D and then I'll have the eight. That that looks incredible. So I'm gonna be cranking that money probably close to a hundred. Wow. Uh, by whatever I upgraded this thing, I actually took this from being able to be upgraded any further. So it's not gonna be as huge a purchase, as huge a run as anything else. It's a 70. This is an 80, so it's kind of an interesting situation where this is the biggest city. This one's not going to get to the same size. Hmm. So that's kind of that's kind of interesting. Uh, and this one, of course, is a 90, so doubling that's you know better play than everything else. So by people avoiding you know playing this piece that everybody wanted to play. It's actually not available to play because there's three tokens in it and there's only a two token upgrade available anywhere. Uh, so that, that kind of got us into an interesting position. I'm looking at yellow. Yellow's like, wow, black needs to come up with money for a train. Uh, I'm gonna crash otherwise. That may mean a big swallow with whatever I can run. Big 475 run. Uh, no, that's, I don't know. I got 475, I don't know why, uh, 460 run, I must have changed uh, some 15 bucks in to get it up to 475. So I've got like close to 600 here, not enough to buy the train obviously, and this is something of a problem because I'm going to have to juggle um, to do things. None of this would have been possible if he had a 5 here instead of a 6. I had the cash, I could remember. You can. Uh, in, the, in this 
uh, XX game. You're allowed to buy a train if it's going to auto rust the train. I couldn't buy it and throw away my six, not that I'd want to. Uh, but if I had the five there that's going to get scrapped by it, I'm allowed to buy it for that, which is kind of a cool option. It doesn't get you locked in with train types uh, the way 1830 does, which actually probably makes things like the last three or last four a little less, or having multiple, you know, having two threes on one company. It doesn't make it as big a penalty as it is. Um, but we need to do this to get uh, enough cash on there so that we can juggle around a little bit and avoid taking a big hit. Although we're not in great shape. <laughs> we might just be better off saying, screw it, we'll lose the game and crashing, but I don't know. Conundrum. Um, I got a 34 run, pretty decent. Not, you know, it's going to get a lot better because <laughs> I'm sitting on a five. Um, 34 a share. I could swallow 340 bucks. That would drop me down to here. Then my stocks are only worth 85 bucks each. On the other hand, I've got 30% of the company in here. Uh, 34 a share means that I'd be getting close to 100 bucks. So I'm only back about 200. Now, my stock value is a 30 buck difference between them. Um, given that I'm holding 60% of the company, I think I'm better off just paying out because I will go forward two, two spaces at that, that run. And then of course, sure, I might lose a few bucks, but with the stock value that I'm gaining, um, I'm probably still better off. And I'm just going to do this by seat of the pants. I tried to, you know, I, I don't feel like calculating it out. You might not even know because you don't know where this is going to end up. So best guess is I'm best off paying out. Okay, now Brown able to run just a five train. And even this is rich at 24 a share. It doesn't have great stuff. I choose not to go here because it's not worth as much as this anymore. So we're actually running up here. Uh, yeah, I don't think... Let me make sure. This is worth 70, 80, 90, 100. Yeah, obviously more than that. Okay. Um, dotted in here. Green's got a T. They could both go in there if that's applicable. Uh, red's got a T. They're probably not able to get there. Yellow's got a T. They're in equally bad position as red. And those are the only T's on the board. Oh, purple's got a T. Purple can't get up there either. So I think I've guaranteed myself this space. Um, and by catching this little hook, I got some niceness going on there. I did not have to swallow or anything, so I was able to move forward two spaces. Uh, note that I'm jumping from here well ahead of somebody way to my right again. Uh, that's a little disconcerting always. And we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred. Not quite eight fifty there, which means I gotta move some money over, but I don't know how much. I wanna throw enough cash in here that he can lay track, so probably most of it because I'm gonna be making a big run. Um, and I'm gonna buy the six train because I liked. Wow, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I want that 3D now. What's up there? Um, what could the 3D do me? With this space here, I could hit these three spaces. Jeez. And green, I don't know which way to go now. <laughs> I might want that big train um, because the difference in the valuation let me let me let me do some quick calculations. I want that big train instead. Um, threw a whole bunch of money on green because there are definitely no shares in green. <laughs> this is probably going to be producing me extra money all along. Kept a buck there just in case. Although I think the way the rules are written, I if I ended up with no trains, I'd be allowed to buy a train for a buck. But uh, it's definitely not that I can throw a buck in and make that happen. Um, so yeah, that's brown, and now we're on black, and wow, the, you know, the, the anvil is closing. It's so clear. The, the T-10's coming out. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do here? Uh, probably means stripping, stripping the T-8. Uh, that might mean 
selling some stocks before I do so or counting on the yellow stocks uh, which are valued at you know nearly a hundred bucks each I don't know which way to go it's gonna change things I wasn't really thinking too carefully I can never make these alignments proper again you know if they were drawn on it would be with, with that crosshairs piece uh, you know a frame to put things in it would make sense to me but here what I didn't realize is oh I can get a black counter down there and we got black tees uh, you know I feel like with this kind of board the way it's set up that kind of mistake that kind of missing things is just gonna happen and there's no grade upgrade to get green in there so green just got screwed that's okay uh, because if black does that is there anyone who can drop an M in there well we don't know <laughs> uh, Purple probably can't. They're the only ones I think with an M left available, which means black probably has this open to them as long as they want. Uh, but yeah, let me let me calculate out what my run is, what track I want to build because I definitely need to build something uh, to make some more cash. But this looks like it's mine. Selling shares is kind of as bad as. <laughs> um, as swallowing in terms of overall share price I can leave these certificates in there that will give me more capability to produce track laying money so I sw uh, swallowed 270 bucks I got 300 bucks sitting here with two three four five that gets me to the 850 plus I'll throw this in there just for uh, good measure move that train over he's got enough cash to buy it we got another person in place who's going to be buying the t10 uh guaranteed of course it's happening there first I, looks like this is going to be the bad thing this is going to be another another turn without income which is problematic but we make it through without you know too horrible an event there and do we dot yes we want that t down here most definitely unless yellow gets it uh, we want that t down there the reason being we can run a little 3d down here and we're in great shape uh black resolves its problems it is done <laughs> could it get something better maybe i don't know i doubt it uh but yeah and then um, yellow will be getting the big choo-choo. And yellow's got probably a 4D run. Uh, looks like i got to go there. I'm not going to have an easy route there. So one, two, three, or three, four. But there aren't a lot of grays left, so we'll see what we do. We might just curve in here and take that as the best option because of lack of tokens or whatever. Don't know. Uh, yeah, without the grays, it's painful, but this could upgrade to gray. There's still one of those left. So if we take this token, that could be useful. That's for yellow. Black already has grabbed its token. It'll probably close that off just to be a dick at some point later, but it can't do both at once. That puts us now over to red purple without a lot of money between them uh choose to basically do nothing except run for 46 a share which pushes them forward to each and that is the end of the first operating round we're kind of in the trailing part of the game but there's still you know a lot of money going back in this is running low but it's not, you know, it's not going to end any time this round because of those big trains that are going to get purchased. What are we looking at? One, two, three of them are getting purchased. So, you know, that's like $2,500, a little more than that. A couple of people have some nice big wads of money that they're accumulating. And remember, most of the, well, that guy's at stock limit. How about him? Three, six, seven, eight. He's got two more shares that he can purchase. So that's like a fair wad of cash uh, that's going to go away if he buys decent shares of stuff. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's not in good shape at all. One, two, 
uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A little bit better off, but again, no cash here. So and the, we got the lead over there with the blue pink. Is that going to be surpassed by somebody who's holding, you know, three trains on two companies? That's a good question. <laughs> Everybody else is going to have one train per company. It would seem. And Blue Pink has a hit coming though. So, although he's in the lead, this is not a foregone game by any means. And granted, that run is not going to be. Well, it's going to be beaten. We're going to get more than that 82 or whatever. But we're not going to get as much as we would with a, an 8 and a 4D. We're looking at the 6 again with the 4D. It just made more sense to get the 3D over here. Uh, for total capitalization because I can afford to buy that 20% share of the company. I'm not sure, you know, if he's sitting on three permanent trains, it's whoever has the initiative may end up getting that 20% uh, share uh, simply because if you're sitting with too, uh, with too many permanent trains for your companies, it's impossible for you to hurt someone. Um, and this is going to be... A weaker company yeah somebody else is going to grab his 20 percent so he's going to end up with only 50 percent of this maybe you know uh that may mean that this company sells out and green may sell out as well again three trains among two companies at the end of the game that makes it impossible to, to trash a company and then comes the question towards the end of it we might see some sellouts as well simply because it would cost too much to dump a company at that point, especially when you're holding those extra, the extra income. If you're holding, you know, 60% of a company, you'd be getting rid of essentially 30%, you know, three, three shares of, of, of stock to dump your company. Can you afford to do that? That's the same position as 20, uh, I'm sorry, as uh, 1835, where it is just not worth <laughs> raping your companies. They're, those 20% shares become too valuable at some point in the game. And I think it becomes the same here. Uh, not for every company though, you know. Uh, in, well, there will be companies that don't sell out. And some of that simply, you've got a eight times seven, right? 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Uh, so eight companies times seven means you've, eight times six is 48, eight times seven is 56. So there's gonna be, um, there's, there's far more certificates than players can hold. Players can only hold 40 certificates. There's 56 certificates, that means there are quite a few companies that just will not sell out. So only the most valuable companies will sell out, which is fine. I, I don't mind that. What I, what I don't like is this thought that, well, nothing ever sells out. But it can, uh, in the end game at least. Funny, up to 41 a share payout for blue. But that only moved me one space on the board because... Uh, Three times 165 is like 495, I think. <coughs> uh, but, yeah. I'm kind of seeing the, wow, we're kind of slowed down here. Now, I ought to think about pink. I'm probably going to be running the 4D. Yeah, that looks likely. Um, so they also aren't going to need much track. I was thinking, do I need to build track with blue? But I think the answer is no. You know, these companies, for the most part, are running fairly tight little routes that it's very hard to get big runs uh, because you have to pay for the track. And the early track that's laid is pretty dotted down. So getting a concentration of your own tokens in rich area like this <laughs> is nice you know pink a a pre-calculate the run let's call it but basically i'm swallowing that would put me back to here but before i do that i need to sell shares because i have one two three four five six hundred and some bucks my first share that i sell is worth 115 
and then each additional one's only worth 85 but I gotta get myself up so that I can uh, buy that 4D train and that'll just crash um, nobody basically <laughs> because everybody who has a T5 has already picked up a train but I will get rid of the fives that way because otherwise he's buying the first one and I'll get crashed had he been you know had he had the space open to buy it or the five over there he could have knocked a lot of companies out but as it is everybody's gotten a chance to recover because his big swallow took him uh, below pink that was the last of them well no red no red's got no money in a train yeah red's fine and so now after the swallow I had to sell all my shares it turned out I was hoping I could hold on to one um, we had a run at 38 which is pretty good but that's not gonna it's gonna be better <laughs> with this thing um, but we're not gonna see any more cash influx into there on the other hand I got no track to light I'm gonna be running a one two three four or four doesn't really matter uh, train at double and that's clearly gonna be the best the best route unless somebody builds something tremendous that's completely open because I got no more dots left <coughs> um, it's really unlikely the 10 is gonna be worth much okay uh, I guess that puts me to red ascertain that the D trains are indeed significantly better than their longer runs um, it makes the game a whole lot easier <laughs> because like you know red yeah, I just had to count three cities and double it. And it gets me to the 48, boom, double payout, whatever. Um, the game definitely, not only much simpler, you know, it gets simpler than this. It gets simpler than almost any XX game to start polishing out, which is one of the factors that makes this kind of faster. It's got a number of things baked in to make it quicker, but those detail trains really do. Um, a whole hell of a lot easier than counting out 10 spaces and when you start realizing how hard it is to get the amount of money that you get off the D trains um, for the most part you can just abandon the idea of counting those long tracks especially hey I got no money between my companies I'm not gonna be able to build track out most of the companies are pretty poor uh, well, not this one but they're buying a train but most of the companies don't have a lot of purchases left and most of the shares are already gone pulse speed happening here with this money with eight hundred dollars going in <laughs> as each company goes um so what did we have red hit 48 a share uh, yellow bought its train upgraded this do i want to drop a token there it's going to mean extra money for me but that may not be where my token is going to go it's where i built my track because i'm looking at um this run one two actually i can't do that one two shit that may not make sense uh i may have built the wrong track because this three four is pretty good i can upgrade that if i put a yellow token there i'm good yeah let me undo this let me change the track lights i didn't make a run so you can put me at zero. Green has kind of an icky situation. Let me make sure they want to play their dot. Um, they're going to be running their 4D. Uh, here, let me see. I could actually go down there, but one, two, three, four. And then I have a six, which could go one, two, three four five six yeah uh, I'm gonna do the track upgrade but I don't think I need the T there the reason is I, I can put it there if need be later um, the reason is that I may end up having to go this way there's an open space there black could put its W there or M there and I'm fine um, even buying that big train uh, I still made a 41 run off the 6 train, which got me a couple of spaces there. Bought the second to last train. Now, if somebody buys this train, 
this becomes the last operating round. There is nobody out there with the cash on hand to do so, but it could accumulate someplace like this or this eventually. And then that player has the tricky decision of, do I just spend that money? Obviously, it's not going to be worth a swallow if you're going to end the operating round um, uh, with that run, <laughs> but it might just not be worth buying. You might want to play the game out longer and get more stock gain. The problem is, of course, there's no, well, not problem, but because there's an end game on the stock uh, price too, someone else will close the stock round out before you can get any closer. So you might be making a reasonable decision um, to end the game even if you're not winning just because somebody else will pull ahead further uh, through stock valuation because the values, you know, as always, I think go up pretty high. It's weird though. So this is like a 20 buck increase all the way at the edge of this. This is a 30 buck increase. What the hell? This one really confuses me, the increase of, uh, to this line. But here you're making 30 bucks for what's essentially a rightward motion as opposed to breaking this line due to being sold out or something. <sighs> That's uh this is the one that always kills me. It's the differentiation between that line. And it really is extreme right there. And it's not that extreme anywhere else that I see. Um, but it is kind of strange. The price values actually start going down. So, I mean, this is, uh, this is 20. But here it's 25. Here it stays 20. I don't know. It's a different... If it's a different stock market than usual and... And I'm not sure what effects it has. It definitely throws some confusion to me when I'm trying to figure out what I need to move next. Uh, for example, black goes before purple here. But beyond that, I'm not sure that there's anything negative about it. There's just something weird about it compared, you know, when you're making that, hey, I paid out, but for some reason, if I'm in the 85 space, I go up 30 bucks. And if I'm in... This 85 space, I only go up 10 bucks. What's up with that? You know, <laughs> what's going on? What's the rationale? I don't know. Um, all right. Close to the, to the maximal value for companies. Obviously, yellow hasn't run its train yet. It is not at its value. And these are just going to be fixed values pretty soon. Uh, pink, I think, did not, <laughs> certainly did not reach it. It's got a 10 train. And green, uh, is going to go skyrocketing, you know, remember it was at 82, it's going to be above that, it's going to be close to 100 this time, I assume. Um, green, obviously, then, is the best stock there is. There's no way this guy's going to jerk around and, you know, try to screw it over. There's not enough time in the game left in multiple directions. <laughs> so, um, so it's probably safe to hold... It's probably safe to hold second shares of almost anything that's out there. And stocks that are clearly the less valuable, blue for example, people are going to be divesting in, um, and, and favoring other, other stocks as we push into the stock round. This final stock round with priority is kind of cool because remember, it's always kind of cool. But I can buy two shares of stuff, uh, or two certificates, rather than just one. And he's actually got space for the additional certificates. So um, I can look for the rich other companies that are out there. Um, obviously, I'm going to grab that green share. But then the question is, what is the next one? Well, with this 30 buck jump here coming up, it actually is this little boost to both uh, pink and purple which is an attractive thought. With pink holding a 4D, it is probably the other thing I want to grab. Maybe not. I've already done it. I'm going to let it sit. But as Blue's looking to see, hey, is there anything I can do to improve my holdings? They're pretty good. Except I got this red and purple. Red and purple are a little iffy with 3Ds on each of them. Well, purple's less valuable than red. I'm going to dump the purple and grab the 20% share of the yellow, which, you know, had this guy seen it, he would have done it. Uh, the 10% share was not that advantageous. I was focusing on 
the stock price hey my problem at the very least I'm only exposed on a company that is almost impossible to rape player three is not so sure or the yellow player is not so sure that his company is impossible to rape <laughs> he can put two massive trains over on black he's got 60% of that only 40% of the yellow uh, and black goes well black may go after yellow if it does then I'm advantaged if it doesn't then we've got a bit of a problem so if yellow sells out it'll be going before and I won't have to do anything I can just run my companies as I wish and then buy this train over assuming I have priority on blue which I'm probably not because there's all these stacks of money here he's probably the safest person uh, to hold two shares I figure two shares of brown is safe because again three companies in uh, one person's hands and uh, you know people are kind of hunting down wait a minute are there 20% shares out there why <laughs> why wasn't I thinking that before uh, now that we saw that uh, that's the end that's the last of the 20% shares he picked up the black and the brown one uh, which other people are kind of kicking themselves you know maybe that single green wasn't worth it when you got piles of money this guy is out of cash so uh, but he's got his portfolio full so you know he should be pretty happy uh, but certainly those double shares are well worth it and it's again when there's so many shares out and they're not organized in an easy to see fashion because they're spread between the company charters and the bank pool and they've got different values and everything man it's hard to see the same reason that blue has uh or someone had a share kicking around i think it was blue someone had a share kicking around that should have been scooped up out of the company treasury instead of uh, taking it from the bank pool uh, that puts me over here realizing he's in an even more powerful position over the yellow player than you ever see in an xx game this is better than sitting to the left of someone there is no way that player is going to have more money than me so i am going to have priority on him no matter what so i ditch a red stock which is less valuable in terms of payouts for a yellow that'll allow yellow to go up he's kind of happy about that you know if that's if that's the way it's gonna fall fine you know <laughs> whatever uh, because i'm not going to be able to ditch it um and then i don't know i think people are pretty much done but there might be some more juggling like that for example if someone buys a pink they can raise its value the problem with that is pink is the leading player do you really want to help his stocks out um but you're helping yourself too so we might see someone in kind of a lousy position like this considering it as a wow that might allow me to get you know third place instead of fourth it happens uh this guy also drops a blue share that he shouldn't have been holding picks up a brown blue is definitely going to be somewhat more abundant compared to all the other shares that are out there it doesn't have a d train everything else does <laughs> with the other six here on the sweetest line of all um so now i guess we allocate these wow i don't know one two three four five one two three four five six seven eight nine ten nine looks like he holds the one he goes to two and three shifts down here hmm well i didn't realize how much money he piled up does he have all the shares three six seven eight nine ten yes we have some share value increases too finally green is sold out uh pink sold out and yellow sold out and that's it and that'll push us down to the next set of operating rounds and one way or another this may die uh, blue is not going to be able to make it up to here so that's not going to happen i don't think anybody's going to buy the final train which means what we're looking at is breaking the bank 
it's hard to tell, but these runs are going to be huge. Remember, there's only $6,000 in the bank to begin with. Uh, green, if it's making 100 a share, is going to pay out like $1,000 each time it runs. <laughs> there's less than 3000 in here. Uh, I think the bank's going to break this time. All right. And it's probably the set of operating rounds, but I am absolutely not certain what the ending conditions are. Uh, game stops after the current operating round is done, but it probably will be both operating rounds. Um, I think there's enough money in there to handle one operating round, but probably not two. And I'll break into these as 500s if, uh, if the game, when the game breaks. Running through this first operating round out of the probable last sequence. And again, it could end on this operating round. Um, it is the round the bank breaks in this game as opposed to a whole sequence of rounds, which is different from most games. There's things I like about it, which means the round on which it breaks doesn't change the total amount of money that people have if it's a bank break uh, thing. Um, it's the runs that affects it. That's always kind of disturbed me in some weird sort of way. I can't really express it. Uh, <clears throat> um, and I found that red, I had them marked a 48-ish uh, share paying out. Uh, and I'm sure last time I paid out that much. I don't see a route for that. I think probably I ran this track down there and it couldn't get there. <laughs> oh well, you know, I mean... I can't easily figure out. I mean, I could penalize this guy easily, but no one else am I absolutely certain. I think everybody had a red share, uh, so fuck it, you know. <laughs> but if he wins by, like, I don't know, 12 bucks or so, or if there's a 12 buck difference, then we can count it as a contested game. A very clear, hey, this is running down to this. It looks that way, you know? <laughs> and without that kind of template in the middle, and this is here, but this doesn't do it. It doesn't directly link uh, the tracks the way that I'd need it. came up with a 96 run for green, but it's not. It's bogus, um, because I can't go through here. That was counting going through there. And now i got to recalculate the whole thing. And it, it's a two-train run, and... <laughs> My brain's just not handling it. It's a little foggy right now, and I, I can't do it. I mean, I absolutely can't do it. Um, it's going to be close to that, but it's not going to be that high. Uh, but there are opportunities for weird things. For example, I might... It, 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 so here's the whole thing. I've got to optimize over two trains in this tangled mess where one of them's doubled. Well, the doubled one, it seems like the best route uh, was coming from here because this is worth... No, it's worth the same as that. So it doesn't make a difference, right? No, this is worth 90. So I have to go from here. So one, two, three, four has to be my route for that, right? Well... That doesn't work, right? Wait, what? One, two, three, four. I can't do that because <laughs> dots, right? Something like that. I can't fucking figure this shit. Um, so if I'm coming from there, one, two to here, I wish I could shove these together and make them so they looked like they worked. One, two. Now from there, I could go up this way, and that sucks. Or I could come down three, four. That's all the riches, right? Okay. Well, then where do I start with the six train? The six train starts here. It goes one, two. And now I got problems because I can't use this track before. So now I come to here at three. And, you know... I could maybe loop down, or, or maybe there's another route, you know? <laughs> maybe there's a route coming this way, coming around here hitting a doinker for 10, uh, but, you know, my six train is just not doing it. And, yeah, I, 
a single run going through a massive great track is one thing. Trying to run two of them, it looked like it was good before. I don't fucking know what I've got anymore. So I'm just going to pull that off. And I don't know, maybe I'll be able to think later, but I can't fucking do it right now. After wandering away a little bit, <laughs> my sixth run is actually, this is the track I uploaded. Uh, one, two, three, sorry, one, two, three, four, and I think five. Let me, let me see. And, and let me, let me make sure. So the four run is one, two, three, four. Yeah. So I hit down here. Um, there are maybe other things, but yeah. So anyway, the total came to 92 and there's some opening. So I can put my T here or here. Uh, Either one works in <laughs> this stupid space. But realize that was put there illegally uh, because of my under because of how I have been understanding that uh, one permit to work. Um, otherwise, green would have a powerful run. Nobody could have dislodged them from this. Uh, but the way this can open up uh, even more heavily is to come out this way. One, two, three, four five and then what yeah, I, don't know. I thought maybe I could loop down here but I don't think I can uh, I don't know I mean there may be some way cutting through here or something but I doubt the track is really capable of doing that oh, which let me I thought I was at a five run uh, one two three four five six ooh I think I missed that 10 bucks. <laughs> yeah, like I'm gonna... I gotta recalculate the whole fucking thing. <laughs> but at least I know what I'm doing, you know. But again, uh, this is no longer this. This is just the tangle of trying to work a double train that's in a really tight little piece of track and a six that's running through some of that same track. That huge run. It ended up being 93, I was right, I was missing a dot, and it was indeed a five run going to here, which meant there was one more space, which was the doinker here. Um, that means I do want this, that'll add 10 bucks to my run. Uh, does no harm to Brown at all. There's nowhere else I can go. I mean, maybe I could do something up here, but fuck it. Uh, that means I'm making like, you know, 550 something bucks. A big 600 bucks just dropped, boom, right on me for one company, one run. Yes, it's a monster. It is the monster of the game. Nothing's gonna, nothing's gonna beat this now. But obviously you can see the chart doesn't handle, uh, runs that big. Um... Okay, and that of course pushed me forward two spaces, being that large, and now it'll be brown instead of anything <laughs> it's further to the right. But if we take a look at the money, there's only four $100 pieces here, another 300 or so. There's less than a thousand bucks out here, and half the companies are left. We may not make it through this operating round. In fact, it's beginning to look pretty iffy to me. 62 run for pink, again moving it to forward, uh, clears out the rest of the hundred dollar. Now one thing to keep in mind when I say, oh wow, there's you know only three thousand dollars in the bank and this company's put a, putting out you know close to a thousand a run, that's true, but not all the companies have all their shares out. Some of them have them sitting here. The ones that they have in the company still end up draining the bank though. Wow, look at this sucker. 500 and something. You know, if the game were going to go longer, I could buy another fucking train. I could have ended it. Um, I don't know if that does me any good, though. It would drop stock value, and it's probably going to end anyway. <laughs> you know, it would only actually matter if it wasn't going to end the game. And this would automatically end the game. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the rules on it. I think 
See, it says end of operating round. Yeah, so I have a problem marked with that. Why is that a problem? Because when you buy that last train, you will not get to run it. <laughs> That's a little weird. Um, it might still be worth doing. Um, the other thing that, that has a problem with is, well, one person can buy a train and no one else can buy it. And you might be in a situation where somebody needs to, to buy that last. It, this would be a really odd edge case, but it may be possible that somebody is sitting on an empty company when this train goes, and then there's no train to buy. I think I brought that up, but here's another problem. That train will never run because <laughs> the game ends at the end of that operating round. Again, is that a horrible thing? Eh, I don't know, um, but it does feel kind of cheap up with a 54 run that I can make a couple of different ways. I laid some track for black that doesn't really matter. Um, but basically I can run here or I can run here. And it's the same value either way. I got no tokens so I can't improve it. Black may be able to improve something. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just laying track that's not doing me any good whatsoever. Possibly making something interesting happen here. But Black's little 3D is running right down here. It's got nothing better to do. And that 54 run is enough. That's a, they made 216 bucks uh, here. I got another 216 to go here. I ain't got it. Um, I should have known that already, but <laughs> I started counting it out. I, I should have known by the, before I counted these out, but I did that. Uh, so we have Brank broken. This is end of game. Um, we run the last two runs. But I gotta hand out the 216 bucks there, and I'm gonna start throwing some $500 uh, chips down just to clean up some of this clutter. The chance of somebody buying this train um, and ending the game makes it much, much less likely that someone else would want another one. The only issue is what happens if somebody would have to buy another one. And to tell you the truth, they probably will be running late in the round and could just buy a train off another company uh, <laughs> and shuffle trains because what you do not want to do is have to spend 850 bucks. Um, it might be a case where you're limited in some way, but you know, hey, uh, it's, it is almost certain that someone will have another company that would offer a train. Eh, worse comes to worse, I don't know. The big thing is that it goes back a share run. Anyway, this is the final tableau that we have in terms of stock values, in terms of cash on hand, a lot of 500s in hand, basically three players sitting on 1500 plus, and this guy who has fallen far behind. Now, was he the one who took the hit? He took a hit, but I felt like this guy took the bigger hit. And I'm kind of like, gosh, that's interesting. <laughs> um, I mean, he shuffled some trains around and stuff, but why? I don't know. That could be the case of this guy took the hit, but this guy had to buy the uh, 4D and had to shuffle a train and basically got a couple of setbacks and what that meant is um, he didn't get many runs off his final portfolio or whatever you know the portfolio just before the final portfolio as it were uh, whereas this guy managed to actually make up some of the money he had lost he must have been doing some pretty kick-ass scoring though which I didn't realize now this guy is the one who kicked up into the high gear. Uh, three trains on two companies. And, but he had to do a little work to get there um, in terms of shuffling some stuff around, which is why things look about the same. I'll calculate out the numbers. Um, again, you know, some things were definitely uh, cheated. I probably screwed up a number of runs. I know I screwed up some, uh, some number of runs. The question is, what? how big a number is that? And also played that one uh, card differently than it would have, but again, I factored that into my bidding decisions at the beginning of the game, and I don't want to back up on them. 
I, I don't think it's a completely unreasonable thing to throw somebody out of a space. It is wildly odd, which is something that, you know, I'm not, uh, not willing to dismiss as a possibility from this designer. Uh, he has some really, really interesting ideas, and we'll take, you know, that other people just aren't doing. Very innovative ideas to do in the XX universe. Okay, let me get the count and uh, 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 uh. having had what was the highest cash value uh, at 1817, you know, everybody was in about that same range except for the fourth player. Uh, and the highest valued single stock at $20 higher than the next stock. Blue did indeed win. It was fairly close, uh, you know. 300 bucks here, 500 bucks to third place, and then way back for that fourth place finish. What happened that was wrong? Well, <laughs> I can tell you a lot. Uh, eh, first of all, early on, yellow had trouble making early money. Um, I would say red did too, but maybe not as much. The big question is how the red-purple player caught up and I don't know the answer to that. Um, their little juggle swap of trains, whatever, worked out a lot better than anyone else's. Um, and I just, I'm kind of stunned that we're talking about, you know, uh, a $1,300, no, more than that, um, a $1,500 difference between uh, players three and four. Uh, Player two, who I thought was going to be a real threat, didn't get enough game with that big, you know, 93 run. They got only one operating round. And that's something you could kind of say is maybe a bit of a flaw in this game. Um, part of me says that's one of the refreshing things, is that it doesn't have that long tail on it. But there's a reason that long tail is there. To give the person who arranges something like this a reason to have done so. Uh, maybe I would have done better with the with a with the swallow or without the swallow, and you know, just run my two permanent trains. And had that happened, do we guarantee the 4D anyway? I'm not sure. I believe this was the thing that forced the 4D out, which is you know kind of an interesting thing. Is that look. This guy did not come in all that well uh, because there wasn't enough time to run it. Now, the longer the game, the more he's going to run because he's pocketing you know, 600 bucks damn near from that green company each time he runs it. And only one person's got two shares of that. So, yeah, that's... Uh, well, 550 or whatever. But that's a that's a huge capability that, you know. And then there's also the case of uh, maybe we catch up uh, in stock value with that longer run. That swallow, you know, the longer, steadier, hey, I got my permanent train. I, I made good money early on, and I ended up with an early permanent train and never really had to suffer at all and just made up my stock value, boom. I'm in good shape, nobody wants my shares, but <laughs> you know, they made it through the game when I'm holding 40 to 60% of the company throughout. Um, yeah, I'm gonna look to see if I give a review to the other one, um, but on a brief capsulation, I would say I am more interested in this than in 21. I like some of the stuff this does. Now, some of that stuff, <laughs> I, I, I like some of the decisions that diverge more from sort of your standard XX. I've got to say, 21 Moon, uh, in both games, I feel like the track, uh, the limited track play, uh, plays and the paying to lay track, those are both major factors in the game. In this one, I felt the limited track lays was less painful mainly because there were less spaces that I felt like I had to had to cross and 
it was more, you know, more tightly packed cities. I'll tell you what I really love. Um, 21 Moon had this commodities thing where, you know, the prices fluctuate by the commodities. And I felt that that was kind of, you know, it was cute, but it was also not really up my alley in terms of things that are worth the added effort for. This one with valuation coming from the tokens and with tokens directed by what you get to play, um, you know, directed by other players' choices. So for example, if somebody drops a, an M in somewhere, you can only put your M token there and that can really shut people out. You've got people who did not play tokens because they couldn't play the right one in the right places or whatever. And I felt like that was a really inspired um, choice. One that uh, I think drives the game more than anything else is that, yeah, where are you going to play your T token? Where are you going to play your C? Yeah, you, know, <laughs> you might have a couple of choices open to you. You have to consider everybody else's uh, possibilities. And also, of course, the special tokens that the companies produce. Um, I tend to agree with the designer that flinging someone else's token is kind of against the spirit of an XX game. Look, you can cut people off, you can shaft the hell out of people, but man, taking their token and moving it away is just such a body blow to one company, right? Um, but on the other hand, <laughs> that card is nowhere near as powerful in terms of getting you into a location. So flinging the green piece out of there is how pink got in here, you know? So that card becomes more in line with the value of most of the other cards. I still think, you know, obviously these mining area cards are pretty undervalued, but I did find that one card to be so super powerful that it drove the bidding up on it heavily. And no shit, the guy who had it uh, <laughs> ended up getting the victory. So, you know, cool on that, right? Uh, I don't remember if he was the one who had the T. I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. Put that sucker down. Um, but that, that is one of the other things is you've got this cooperative nature. I, I think I'm doing the, the review here. And in a way, it makes sense because this is not a polished game. I don't think it deserves the full critique of a review, you know, um, but it, it's certainly close. It's close to where it's going to be, I think. Um, the whole concept of this cooperative nature, though, is what really excites me about it. So most XX games, you don't have a sense of cooperation between companies. You might have two companies working dots together. Um, but that doesn't help each other. But here, this T token, the robot factory, they help everybody who's near you. And the number of dots in a city helps uh, everybody who's near there. You're actually building the city value up in a way that it's not pre-programmed on the track. Now, 21 Moon also did not have pre-programmed values on the track. And that makes the game more interesting in both cases, right? because you sit, you walk into an 1830 game, and I've walked into them where, well, I've walked into a 1856 with a specific plan in mind uh, that would work in a four-player game. You know, just, hey, if I have this, I do this, I bid this much on this private company, I bid this much on this one, I want to do that. 1830, <laughs> I did something similar uh, with a friend of mine where we actually pre-planned what we wanted to do. We just had this crazy idea where we wanted to create this insane route going through New York twice. Um, and we did so. And it was fantastic. And uh, I think this was the game that ended up either a tie game or within one buck. <laughs> it was just like, I'm sure we made a mistake that was worth more than a buck somewhere. And there was crazy stuff. Our plan didn't actually work as planned. Um, you know, we had thought we would both be in the top two players. Well, we weren't. Uh, I, wa I was one of the people who I think we tied. And the other guy uh, ended up 
I don't know, in some other position. Normally, I wouldn't allow, wouldn't be. Nobody, nobody was thrilled with the idea of such collusion before the game, like completely, you know, planning out to the track lays and the bids that we were allowed. And those bids got screwed up and everything. But anyway, um, minus something like that, this game actually has a situation where you want to follow dots with other people because you're boosting each other's earnings. The thing, though, is... You kind of don't want to spend your special tokens because they're making you money. And even if they make you a little bit more money, they might make your buddy a lot more money than they're currently making because you're getting the money and pocketing it uh, from the permit. But once you play that permit for its effect, everybody who goes through that space or who uses that space is now using it. On the other hand, it may direct attention to that space, which can be positive or negative, right? It means there's going to be more people trying to get to that space, but it also is going to boost the value of that space, and you are settled in it. And so, you know, there's just all this kind of thinking about that. Um, stock market's a little weird, uh, just this little bit here. But the... Uh, I, I feel like the bigger thing is that question about that long tail being gone. And again, I find it very refreshing that the game takes up a small footprint in terms of space. I mean, look at this. My XX games usually take both tables fully, right? This, with only four players granted. Uh, now, that is one factor. Usually in an XX game, I'm not thrilled with like less than five players. Um, and you kind of see why. Nobody wants to hold 20% of a company, so nothing ever sells out. The best company on the board, well, it's still too dangerous to hold because somebody can hurt it until the very end game we're seeing here. Um, but with the amount of cooperative nature between the companies, the boosting each other, I'm not sure it works all that badly. And maybe I'm mistaken about most XXs. Maybe most of them work fine. You know, I hear people who are like, oh, I think it's best in four. Uh, my feeling with four in most XX games is you have too much control over the game in those cases. This one at least is designed for four or less. Um, I can't imagine two players I just, that guess you would be trying to create synergies on your own side of the map or whatever. Um, Component-wise, yeah, you know, I mean, the biggest thing for me is getting these connections expressed in a frame. That, that would be the biggest thing, the close-in connections. The far-out ones, I still think that they can be expressed fine in a frame. Like, I don't think there's any advantage over this with the far-out ones, but those are less used. However, the designer has indicated that he is um, strongly leaning towards getting rid of these links and making the board more fluid in terms of being able to cross from sides. <sighs> that makes everything harder. <laughs> because the frame can't express that. So it's okay that the frame expresses something you're probably not going to use very often. I mean, we saw one player make this cut here, right, from there to there. One player uh, on one run, very late in the game, because that expense of the doink is just, you know, you don't want to build for that, and you don't want to... But the difficulty of lining up and seeing this connects to this, you know, and not... <laughs> this way, um, which is just natural to me, right? The difficulty of that uh, can be overcome with a little, a little cross in the middle that everybody snaps into. The difficulty of seeing what connects from these sides to those sides, man, my poor little brain will not be able to handle that if it becomes a major, if, if major roots are running um, circles around the planet. And I don't know what the, what the deal, you know, I, I, I don't know how playable that will be for other people, but for me, that would be a big, big minus. 
All right, I guess this includes the review, <laughs> such as it is. This is one that excites me. Um, for one that isn't really about stock manipulation particularly, there's nothing really to hinder it, except maybe those 20% shares. They they keep things out of hand, and you know the four-player minimum. <laughs> There's a number of things that feel like they do, but yeah, I don't see anything that directly is like, well, this would not be like 1830 stock manipulation. I feel like there would be reasons that it could, um, especially with how short the, you know, how small the track uh, segments are and how important spaces are. You might play around with stocks to get a, a, a jump on something in terms of operating position in the same way that like some 1830 players love to do. I'm not a big fan of that to tell the truth. I mean, uh, not in the sense of like, uh, I'm kind of ambivalent about it in terms of how I feel, you know, it affects the game, but I don't really think that way, so I don't tend to do it much. Um, in a lot of ways, you start something out like that, and you just end up sinking each other's stocks. Uh, a lot of people do it uh, where it really doesn't help anyone involved in it. Um, the person who starts it off just ends up taking themselves and someone else down in value for no real value and then somebody else steals their position or something i don't know uh, it, it generally i find it not to be productive to do uh, but that's just me because there's almost always a counter to it you know unless you wait till the very end of a, a stock round when somebody else is all full up with all the stuff they want and you're like haha yes i've been waiting all this time for you okay I'm going to load this up, and then I'll curiously look to see if I did an actual review for 21 minutes.